from the Gertzum Hardware Department. Today, we are going to talk about the basic setup for the Teltonica FMB920 device. This video will show you how to connect the device to Wheelon. Here's what you need. A Teltonica FMB920 tracker, a SIM card, a cable for connecting the tracker to a computer, and 12 volts to power the tracker, in our case, the power source. First, open the tracker SIM slot and install the SIM card in the tracker. Now, we need to connect the tracker to the power source. Please ensure that the light of the device is on. Connect the device to the computer with a mini USB to USB cable. Now open the Teltonica configurator. You can download it on the manufacturer's website. The website link is in the video description. We can see that the configurator identified the device. Click on this image. Please wait for the configurator to read the current device settings. All the parameters are read. Now we can set up the device. Let's open the system tab and turn off the device's deep sleep. Then specify ignition as the movement source. Now, let's move to the GPRS tab. Fill in the APN. You can find out your SIM card's APN from your GSM provider. Now, let's create a unit in Wheelon. Log into your Wheelon account. Proceed to the Units tab. Click the Create button. Enter the unit name, FMB920 underscore video, as in our example. Select the device type in the corresponding field. After selecting the device type, the server address field will be filled in automatically. This field displays the IP and port to which the device should be directed. Please memorize or write down this data. Click the OK button to create the unit. Go to the Teltonica configurator again. Fill in the server settings field. Enter IP in the domain field. In our case, it is 193.193.165.165 and the port is 21328. Now, we go to the data acquisition tab. Here, we will specify the frequency of data transfer and its conditions. As we're performing a basic configuration today, we'll specify the same parameters for all types. Open the I.O. tab. Here we can set up all the parameters and the conditions of their transfer, but for the basic configuration, we will leave this tab unchanged. Click the Save to Device button to save the changes to the device, and then wait until the changes are confirmed. Now open Wheel On again. Go to the Monitoring tab, and then to the Unit Properties. Enter the device's IMEI. You can copy it on the Configurator's Status tab. It's important to make sure that the device sees the satellites. To check if it does, try, for example, to place it outside the window together with the power source. As you can see, the device is online. Thank you for watching this video. 
We hope you succeeded in configuring the device. If you still have questions about configuring the Teltonica FMB920, please contact us at hw.gertum.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Gertum's YouTube channel, where you can find new videos on telematics hardware and wheel. See you soon.